Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and a visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Good day. I want to thank you for being here on the Valder Beebe Show. I've had a fabulous day, but of course, I always have fabulous guests to make my day. And I've got one of my favorites. I've got celebrity chef Jamie Gwynn. Chef Gwynn, welcome back to the Valder Beebe Show. Valder, I'm so grateful to be back. Thank you for having me. You know, the big game is here. Well, it's just about here. And I have to say, I love football, but I love football food more. And you and I share a love of food. So it is always my delight to be able to spend time with you. Thank you so much. Okay, but it's going to be a little bit different this year. Usually my it husband is. has people over and stuff like that, but it's going to right. be just him and I. So what do I'm going to be doing? <laughs> okay, just so you know, I don't think that means any less food. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, yeah, when I have a party, it doesn't matter how many people are coming. And yes, we too are uh, gathering, you know, just our pod at home. Uh, but there are some must-haves for football food. You need something to eat all the way through. So these are my most delicious ideas. Let's start with guacamole. It's a must-have at every big game celebration, right? It's actually one of the biggest days for avocado related knife injuries, interestingly enough. It's also the biggest consumption day of avocados. And holy guacamole is not an insurance company, but it is America's number one selling refrigerated guacamole. And it's made with hand scooped Hass avocados and they're helping to prevent pregame injuries. So you can enter to win avocado hand insurance in the form of a year's supply of convenient, ready to serve holy guacamole now through February 7th. You upload a video of your best dip on Instagram and then you tag at eat holy and one grand prize winner is going to be awarded $4,000 and a chance to become holy guacamole's next hand model. Now I love guacamole for even more <laughs> than just dipping. I'll spread it on a sandwich or finish a burger. So you and your husband could definitely indulge in some holy guacamole. You could also I create a cheese board or a grazing board, right? And I'll say you make it your own because you put all your favorite things on it. The trend continues with cheese boards in 2021. Mine is made with Roth cheese. They have a line of artisan specialty cheeses made in Wisconsin. So, you know, they have to be good. Their signature cheese is a Grand Cru. It's this yummy, nutty Alpine style cheese. I love the jalapeno Havarte, especially the smoked Gouda. Then you add all the tailgate worthy snacks that you like. And by the way, Roth artisan cheeses can be easily found in the deli section at your local grocery store. All right, I've got a question for you from Instagram. They want to know if a cheese board and a charcuterie board, are they the same thing or is there something different? You know, it's a great question. The terms are used interchangeably, yes. So charcuterie usually refers to the meat side of things. Uh, but a cheese board could include so much, right? You could do a great big grazing board with avocado and chips and veggies and then cheese and meats and um, fresh fruit. And you could graze all the way till halftime. I mean, that's how we eat in my house. As far as I'm concerned, you know, uh, football is a food frenzy in and of itself. So uh, bring it on. All right, then. And I'm going to take this last one. They want to know, they like avocados hard. It, do you have any recipe for when it's not a soft recipe? You could use a fresh avocado, uh, depending upon its ripeness, as you see fit, for sure. Um, it's a textural thing. I happen to think that holy guacamole, the chunky, which is my favorite, has a really nice dichotomy of the creamy, with the texture of the chunks of avocado. Um, but, you know, I'm a California girl and we're known <laughs> for loving anything avocado. Uh, you know, it's big in my home state. So uh, you can make any recipe you like using your favorite. Mine happens to be holy guacamole. Hey, I'm a Texas girl and I love avocado anyway. Chef, you know, <laughs> uh, uh, anything else to get us ready for the big game day, especially yeah, us non-football people like me? Yes, of course. But you're a foodie, which I love about you, Valder. So here's the thing. <laughs> You've gotten to halftime, let's say, but everybody's still looking for something hearty, right? Two great ideas. One, because I never met anybody who doesn't love pizza. These are mini pizza cups made with pearls sliced black olives. Now, 
People who love olives love and trust pearls. 100% grown and packed in sunny California, my home state. Picked at the peak of freshness, versatile, flavorful. Uh, we're actually getting through the big game and then honoring National Pizza Day, which is February 9th. Pearls Olives is doing a giveaway on Instagram for a chance to win a pizza making prize pack. And Pearls has declared 2021 the year of pizza, pasta, and pearls. So you want to follow hashtag dream olives so that you can add pearls olives into all of your meals. And then check out this patty melt. Why not help the environment and satisfy your meat cravings at the same time? If you haven't yet cooked <laughs> with Impossible Burger, it's delicious, it's sustainable, it's versatile, it's packed with nutrients. And it was created with meat lovers in mind because Impossible Burger handles, cooks, and tastes like ground beef from cows. So if you love meat, but you still want to be better for the planet, make this mouthwatering patty melt. It's perfect for armchair quarterbacks, by the way, because you can root for your team with one hand and hold half a sandwich with the other. Uh, the recipe <laughs> is, by the way, in Impossible, the cookbook, but we've posted all the information for all these recipes at dailylounge.com. This is why I invite Chef Jamie Gwynn. And you told me you've seen her on the Food Network, HGTV. You've even seen her on the iconic Martha Stewart. But she's always my favorite when she's on the Bounder BB show. Chef, thank you so much for that football advice. I think I'm going to have a great game. Oh, I know you are, Valder. And thank you for always allowing me to grace your show. May the best team win. I'm only here for the food. <laughs> <laughs> uh, me too. That's my Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I host the Valder Beebe Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.